Good morning. My name is James. Can you tell me your full name, please? Uh, yes. Good morning. My full name is Martin Portas Gutierrez. Okay. And um, what shall I call you? Martin. Martin. Okay, Martin. And uh, can you tell me where you're from, Martin? I am from Uruguay. Okay. And can I see your identification, please? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. That is fine. Okay. I'd like to begin by asking you questions about your education. Okay. What is the education system like in Uruguay? Uh, the education system is uh, public completely. Uh, there are some private uh, high schools and universities, but it's mostly public and has a tradition of being public since, I don't know, probably one and a half century ago. And it's really good. From primary school to university, you have free access to education. Uh, it's kind of hard sometimes to kids to go to university because they need to move to the capital and parents need to pay for that, which sometimes is, could be really expensive. Um, but yeah, if you have access uh, to be in that place, it's free. Okay. And uh, what, what kind of school did you go to as a child? I went to a public school, was in a really small town. Um, around 10 kilometers away from my house. Uh, was really small, about, I would say, 150 students only. Um, but it was really, really nice. I, I like it. Okay. And um, what was your favorite subject as a child? I was always a big fan of science and geography. I was um, really interested in geography. I don't have any specific reason why, but I always liked that and also everything related to science or technology. Um, I feel that it's really interesting and keep me studying about that. Okay. Next, let's discuss traveling. Okay. Do you like to travel? I like traveling a lot. Okay, yes. why? Because it's really um, nice to go to another country um, and feel like the culture, the places, the typical traditions from the people in that country that you are visiting and I like not only going to the touristic places but going to places like a supermarket in another country it could be like um, really interesting to see from what people eat to how people dress or you know I feel I enjoy trying different food so going to different countries is a really nice experience because you have access to to do that. Okay. And um, what kinds of places uh, do you like to visit? Um, mostly cities. Um, I also like going to mountains and beaches, but when I'm traveling, I prefer visiting new cities because it's where you have more, like a bigger concentration of like the culture, activities, and people that you can see and meet. Okay. And what is the best place you've ever visited? And that's a really good question. Um, I feel that the place that I enjoyed more was Barcelona in Spain. I really like that city. I feel that was amazing. Also has incredible like um, museums, statues, and a lot of things to see. I, I like that a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you have one minute to think about what you're going to say. Okay. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay. okay here's your topic.
right. Remember, you have one to two minutes to complete this. Okay. Don't worry if I stop you. Can you start now, please? Yeah, sure. Um, the topic is about the one big decision that I have to make in my life. Uh, I have no doubt about that. The biggest decision that I have to make was when I was studying medicine school. I studied that for four years and I changed, I decided to change to programming. Um, it was a really stressful moment in my life. It was not, not an easy decision. I have all my best friends in medicine school. I was uh, doing quite good. I, in three years, I think that I failed only one test. Um, but I was not happy about when I started getting closer to the hospital because the first three, four years, you actually don't work in a hospital. Mm -hmm. So when I started getting closer to that, I started feeling that it was not something for me. And I also loved technology all my life. So I was in a, in a moment where I need to decide what I want to do, if I need to continue in that way or change. And I decided to change. And was not really easy, an easy topic at all for me, for my family, for my friends. Um, it was a really tough decision. Um, it was not really, it was really stressful and not a pleasant experience at that moment. I feel now, I feel really happy about my decision after years about that, but it took me a while to actually feel confident that I did a good decision. Did you have anything else to add? Uh, yes, I, for anyone like who wants, he, who is doubting be, between this, um, I could take you like some time, but to to realize if you did a great choice or not. But I feel that worth the price to take the risk and do. Okay. And do that. Thank you. And um, would you make the same choice again if you had to? Yes, I would make the same choice again, for sure. Okay. Um, thank you. May I have the paper and pencil back, please? Sure. Thanks. So let's talk about using, uh, let's talk about usage of internet and how, it's, and its impact on society. Okay. Um, which uh, websites are popular among your generation? <laughs> there is no doubt about that. The main or the most popular website in between me and my friends is Facebook, for sure. It's the, what everyone else uses and how people communicate right now. Okay, why? Uh, I think that has a combination between chat and posting of images. Um, comments, so it's like a mix between Twitter, any chat, and Instagram, what people like, like sharing what their activities and what they like or show off, <laughs> what are they doing. <laughs> so um, is this uh, typical um, for people from your country? Yes, everyone has Facebook, from the oldest to the youngest, everyone has Facebook. <laughs> okay, and how has the internet changed uh, social behavior? Well, um, what I feel about that is that now you really don't have a sense of distance. I, you don't know, like, you can live, like, in any part of the world yeah. and kind of, you don't know, like, I, I went to, as an example, I went to Uruguay uh, six months ago for the first time after one and a half year living here, mm -hmm. and I don't feel that I have been away for so much. I'm. You, I have so much communication that you kind of lose the sense of being away because you're on your phone all the time checking what your friends are doing, sending you text messages or calling you. So you don't feel so far from them. Mm -hmm. uh, so people from Uruguay have access to this new technologies? Yes, internet in Uruguay is really, really fast. and works great. Okay. And should companies check job applicants' online profiles? Uh, can you repeat the question? Sure. Um, do you think that uh, companies should check job applicants' online profiles? 
Uh, that's a really good question. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this can help to have a real sense of the people that you're hiring since you are like a company trying to hire a person and you have, for example, I try to post only funny stuff. I don't know, not, I don't like posting people, uh, posting, sorry, <laughs> I want to, to change that. I don't like posting pictures of people or myself. I just enjoy posting people of funny things that I see on the street. I don't know how this could help the company that is hiring me to make a decision about if I'm good or bad for a web, de web developer position based on the pictures that I post. So I don't think so. Um, so what uh, sorts of um, public profiles do you think companies could use? Uh, well, I feel that LinkedIn could be the best one because there you post a more serious profile of you and, and more things related to work and not related to your private life. So I think that could be a, a good option. It's always not 100% like accurate because it, there's no way to to back uh, to check the background of the information that you have there because it's what you post. But I think that LinkedIn could be the best one. Okay. Um, finally, let's discuss successful people. Okay. Um, how do you define success? Uh, I feel that success is people that do whatever they are doing with a lot of passion and enjoy their activities or their shops or anything that people is doing. I feel that you are successful once you put passion in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and um, do, you, do you think people from uh, Uruguay um, view success the same? That's a big question. I'm not exactly sure about what everyone else in Uruguay thinks because sometimes people think about success only thinking about money or how much money do you make or you don't. And I don't feel this way. You can make like billions and if you're not happy with what you're doing, you're not really successful. You're, not, you're never happy. So what, um, what personal characteristics do you think that most successful people need to have? Uh, <laughs> let me think about that. Um, I would say a lot of passion and sense, common sense, a lot of common sense and a sense of humanity. And I feel that it's really important that you think how any activity that you are doing can affect others. Okay. And all right, thank you. Uh, this is the end of the speaking test. Okay.